Welcome to our exciting exploration of JavaScript and Canvas drawing. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. They want to know if it's possible to draw on a canvas using three axes, X, Y, and Z. While many of us are familiar with drawing in two dimensions, the challenge of incorporating a third dimension, like creating a cube, can be quite intriguing. So how do we take our 2D canvas skills and elevate them into the 3D realm? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To draw in three dimensions on a canvas, we need to understand how to represent the z-axis. In a 2D canvas, we only deal with x and y coordinates. However, for 3D, we can simulate depth using perspective. First, we will set up a basic 2D canvas. You can use the same mouse event handling code you already have. We will modify it to include a z-axis representation. Next, we will create a function to project 3D coordinates onto our 2D canvas. This involves converting the 3D coordinates into 2D coordinates using a simple perspective formula. Now let's modify the mouse event to include the z-axis. We can simulate the z-axis by changing the z-value based on mouse movements or predefined values. Finally, we can draw a cube by defining its vertices in 3D space and projecting them onto the canvas using our projection function. Connect the vertices to form the edges of the cube. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Drawing in 2D is straightforward with X and Y coordinates, but 3D drawing adds complexity due to the Z axis. You need to manage 3D positions and additional effects like lighting and shadows. To simplify 3D to 2D, you can flatten the z-axis using a division. For example, you can calculate 2D coordinates from 3D coordinates with a simple formula. For basic shapes like particles and lines, 3D drawing is manageable. However, for complex objects and rotations, using a library like 3JS is recommended. When using a mouse to draw in 3D, you must map 2D movements to 3D space. Look at examples from tools like Paint 3D, SketchUp, and Blender for inspiration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To draw in 3D space using mouse movements, you can utilize 3JS. A helpful resource is available at jsfiddle.net. The core function captures mouse movements and projects them into 3D space. The unproject method is key for translating 2D coordinates into 3D space. This allows you to create a line based on your mouse movements. To update the line's position in 3D space, you need to iterate through the spline array and set the positions accordingly. The 
And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.